Ann Lufa here, where today I am going to do the first installment of Van's Views. Because boy, do I have some views today, y'all. I think that we all know about the news that came out yesterday. We had heard that Josh Duggar was being held on federal charges. But they did not announce them. He was uh, set to go to court this morning or today sometime to face those charges and give his plea. And his charges are counts of having child pornography. Yes, you heard that right if you haven't heard the news already. Child pornography. The first question I will ask is, are we surprised? My answer, no. Okay, so reading through the internet today then when I could, um, and uh, reading through subreddit, you know, Reddit and those kinds of things, here were the biggest two questions that were asked today. Question number one, what will Anna do? Will Anna leave with the kids? That is the first question. The second question that everybody wants to know, were his children some of the victims? I can only hope no that they were not. Um, you know, few details have been released, but I do know that they say that he was charged with receiving and downloading uh, we'll call it CP to be PC. So he was charged with receiving and downloading CP. So I hope that that means that none of that involved his children. Because if you would like to see me on an even bigger level pissed, then let that be the situation. It's already disgusting enough. Okay, so here's my views and my opinions on it. Will Anna leave him? No. No. Um, and I don't just, I don't say that just because I think that she, you know, she's a full on, you know, stand by your man kind of a woman and all of that. But I think it would be really hard for her to leave because first of all, she has no skills, no education. And she is so brainwashed by this cult and by the Duggar family, I think they would probably make it extremely difficult for her to leave. And unless she had full cooperation and support by her family, um, it would be next to impossible to leave. Now, I would hope that her family could help her in some way. But I don't know the whole situation, so I don't know you know, what's all going on with that. She should have left after the damn Ashley Madison cheating scandal, but of course she didn't. And then she went on to have how many more kids with him after that. And they just announced, I believe this week even, that she is pregnant with baby number seven. You go girl, just popping out them babies like you do. So here is the problem that I have with this. Well, there are many, many problems. But let me tell you, first of all, I am not surprised. I am not shocked in any way, shape, or form that this came out. Um, because I have felt, my opinion only, remember guys, my opinion only may not necessarily reflect yours. My opinion is that this family is human garbage. I not only can stand, cannot stand them, but also their belief system. Maybe it works for some families, but in that particular cult, as I will call it, because it's a cult, um, little girls are raised to be mommies, wives, which in and of itself is not a bad thing. I think that's great, but they are raised to be subservient to their husbands. Their husbands handle everything. They handle the finances, all of the decisions in the household. Also, they are raised to just do nothing but pop out babies. We're going to get all the kids that God allows us to have. You know, 
know, Jim, Bob, and Michelle have what, 19? Okay. Anyway, at this point, Michelle could probably fit a goddamn Mack truck in her vagina, but that's, that's a story for another day. So, this is what I take issue with when it comes to this family and this religion or this cult. For these women to be taught that they are nothing better than just a servant to their men and a vagina to pop children out of. These women are not allowed to go to college and get an education or have a career outside of their family or their home. Oh, no, no. Only heathens do that. Now, I realize that there are a few of the Duggar children who have kind of distanced their, themselves from the family and kind of gone their own way and props to them for doing that and for realizing that the way that they were raised was wrong, in my opinion. Also, I feel that uh, Jim, Bob, and Michelle, based on their religious beliefs and experiences, sweep things under the rug, meaning, and especially since they're in the public eye, I mean, they've had this, you know, this show on TLC now for how many years? They are taught to just sweep things under the rug if we don't talk about it and if we don't see it, therefore it does not exist. So when the allegations came out about Josh uh, molesting little girls as a teenager, I believe he was 14, and come to find out that four of those girls were his little sisters, they did not deal with it appropriately. It was swept under the rug in my belief. Now, does that give Josh Duggar a pass? Absolutely not. He's a whole grown ass man and he should be accountable for his actions. But his parents also should be held accountable for not helping like they should have. So first there was that. Then there was the allegations or um, the list of names that came out in the Ashley Madison scandal. And he was on that list. Are we shocked? No, we are not. Because, I mean, look what he grew up around. Look what he, you know, what beliefs he had instilled in him. Men are the head of the family. Men make the decisions. Men can do whatever they want. And yet, little mousy Anna stood by her man. Because why wouldn't she? Now, I'm reading stories today that I think maybe her family was trying to help her get out. Um, after those cheating allegations came out, um, I would have to do some more research on that. But that also gives me hope in that maybe her family will help her see the light in this situation. But, um, I mean, the dude's problematic enough. Come on, right? I mean, come on. The dude is problematic enough. Why are people shocked to hear this kind of stuff? They shouldn't be. So I, I think you can guess my views on this. My views is that they are human garbage, every last one of them, with the exception of the kids who got out and learned how to think on their own and realize that they have brains in their heads and that life can be a different way than the way that they were taught. It would sure be nice if uh, the rest of the kids can figure that out someday, you know? So those are my views. And I also, from my understanding, is that part of uh, Josh's bail release, y'all know his parents are gonna forge over that TLC money, honey, and bail his ass out of jail. Um, I believe is eligible to get out on bail on May 5th. And you know, mommy and daddy are going to have their money bags down there. Um, I believe that part of his bail release is that he cannot have unsupervised contact with minors. It's my understanding that he has to have like a chaperone type of deal going on. Um, and 
I took it as he's not allowed to be around minors at all. So therefore isn't allowed to be around his own children. And thank you, Jesus. Because he's a child predator. And as far as I'm concerned, has been since he was a teenager. At least. I mean, that's, you know, the information we do know. Imagine what we don't know, guys. Imagine. And so I had remember hearing the stories of November 2019 when the feds raided his business and his house and um, how they came out and made a family statement that the rumors weren't true. My question is, were they? Because I know it takes time to build a case like this. And with COVID happening, everything was delayed and pushed back. And so... Maybe they did raid that place and got some computers and found some bullshit. I wouldn't be surprised. And, uh, you know, how did Josh explain that to Anna at the time, you know? Or I guess since they made a family statement and said it wasn't true, maybe Anna just <laughs> didn't think it was true. I don't know, because the woman's brainwashed. However, this is a do or die situation with Anna right now. She needs to think of her children, in my opinion. And no piece of shit, scum, lion, cheating, slum bag deserves to have his wife and children in his life, in my opinion. So apparently the maximum charge on each count of CP is 20 years. And I was reading today that they can, for every picture, that could count as one charge. So it's very possible that this scumbag could go to prison for the rest of his life. And I hope he does. And you know, here will come Anna with her seven little kids visiting daddy in prison every week or whatever they do. All I want to happen through this other than Josh is asked to rot in jail for the rest of his life is for Anna to get out and give her kids a life that they deserve. And I think I'll end it on that, guys. That's all I have to say today in Van's Views. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.